improper installation of a tire plug tire patch tire plug patch combo can lead to serious injury or death the purpose of this video is to show you how to perform a field repair when you are far away from professional help what's up everyone i'm not sure why i was talking that deep it just seemed like the right thing to do you know there's nothing like a really deep voice to to get your attention <laughs> So on Instagram, I have this post about filled repairing a tire, and it received 150,000 views in a matter of a couple of days. This tells me that I need to do a YouTube video about this topic. If you're not familiar with my channel, I create outdoors and overland content. My intended audience for this video is going to be the outdoors adventurer that might get a nail in their tire when they're far away from professional help. I am not a professional tire repair expert but I have a lot of experience plugging tires. And I'm gonna share what is considered to be the best practices for plugging a tire. There's a ton of a debate if a tire plug is actually a long-term fix or not. And I just wanted to let you know that the tire plugs of today are much more stable than the old tire plugs that have a bad reputation. I'm sure you're gonna have people commenting below that you should patch a tire. But even that could be a dangerous thing. If the technician did not do it right, if they rushed it, it could actually be even more dangerous than you yourself plugging your own tire. And then you'll have people telling you that you should just go ahead and replace your tire. But tell me, what's the problem with that? When you drive four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, what is the problem with having a tire of different circumference? you are going to wear out your differentials. So there's going to be a lot of thought that will need to go into your long-term solution. And in this video, I'm not going to really talk about that long-term solution because it's complicated, right? A tire plug will not fix a hole that is larger than a quarter inch in diameter, and it is unsafe to fix anything on the shoulder of the tire or the sidewall. The tire plugs are best used to fill holes that are caused by nails or screws. What you see here is a result of a pinch flat. This is where there is an impact so violent that the wheel ripped into the tire. Your tire. Just a friendly reminder, TPS sensors are meant to save your life. So I'll have to check on this later. I just got to uh, work for today and 28 PSI at around 45 miles per hour is still all right, so I didn't stress it too much. Doesn't look like I lost any PSI driving over here. But the tall so. telltale sign is this right here. You'll just have all this rubber that has now um, come off the inside of the tire, and that's that's the part that's terrible. Uh, you, you don't see it happening. It happens from the inside out. So it appears I probably have a nail or some kind of sharp object in my rear left tire. And there it is. 
right there. Pretty sure it was when I was going to, when I went out to the Gold Butte and uh, drove around the ghost town. Yep. All right, so the nail is located right there. So getting my Smitty built tire repair kit or any tire repair kit for that matter. Gonna grab the needle nose pliers and going to pull this nail out. Nasty Dale. Look at that. Take the reamer tool. I'm having difficulty reaming the puncture. I opt to use a small drill bit to widen the hole. A drill bit can pull and rip at the belts and cables of a tire. It's recommended that you use a carbide cutting tool instead, which more closely resembles the reamer. For tire plug repairs, the hole shouldn't be larger than a quarter inch, so I wouldn't use these bigger carbide tools. You could see and hear that the reamer tool was able to get in there and kind of smooth out that hole. That's gonna make the tire plug have better contact with the hole. So next up, we're gonna take a tire plug. Gonna put some vulcanizing agent or rubber cement on it. This has never been used, so pop that open. By the way, um, after you use, I use it this one time, it's gonna, um, if you just let this sit for a while, it will uh, totally dry up. So just FYI, you need to replace that tube every so often. Thread this through, like so. And the rubber with cement is kind of like a lubricant also. It helps you to thread this through. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this and plug it, and then I'm gonna put it in there as much as, uh, a good amount, and then yank it out. So this has a separator right there. You don't wanna push it all the way through. Just kind of enough like that. And then the trick is, you just yank it out as fast as you could, like so, and you're done. Then you just snip off the excess right there. Use a razor blade or something, or scissor. Razor blade preferred, so you can cut it down low. And this tire is now patched.
at that thing. Pretty nasty nail. Uh, we got two two flats here too. Side walls, unfortunately, pinch flats. Yeah, front one's completely torn up. But I'm gonna try to plug this one. Okay. <laughs> It's nasty, probably unsafe, but it's better than Older getting seven, stranded out here. Two under fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, once we get the highway, though, yeah. we got to be careful. Yeah. Don't want to be going too fast. Yeah. But uh, you just jammed it. You just jammed it in there, huh? Yeah, I, I tripled it up, and yeah. then and then found that one and Good plugged deal. that too. Good so. Deal. Yeah. Just gonna have to take its time getting out of here. So. All right, I'm gonna actually razor blade it just in case, so it doesn't catch on anything. Okay.